All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the final uh, individual bot of the Combiner Wars Devastator. So we're going to do all the size comparisons at the end of this one. Um, and this is this is my favorite character, and he's the leader of the Decept uh, the Constructicon. So this needs to be the best one. And they fail again. Not as hilariously bad as Mixmaster or Long Haul. Um, but it's still not great. Um, so let's take a look at him. Uh, I, so I gave him the front part of the barrel. Uh, I think that looks like a good gun there. Um, I like that. Um, and let's see here. So again, the arms are just trash. Um, they're, well, they're, they're not trash. They're bad they could have been done better um so he's got uh he's got this uh joint that's going on in here um it's it's for transformation but basically so you got this butterfly in like that and you also got this butterfly to the back um and then you have a hinge out like this so this is actually the best designed shoulder from a Hasbro toy, toy I think I've seen in a very long time. This guy has got full range of motion in his arm, in his shoulders. So it's actually really impressive. Um, up and down, in and out, back, forth. Uh, I mean, this guy can do it all. Um, until you get to the elbows. And you can see the problem here is... He has no elbows. They didn't give him an elbow. I mean, why wouldn't you give him an elbow? He's got a forearm swivel. Um, the wrist kind of swivels for transformation. That's it. There's no elbow. So you got these great impressive shoulders, good looking forearms, but nothing in between the two. And it looks to me like... You could have designed this so that this just slides down a little bit to give him an elbow. Um, because these arms are actually pretty short. They could they could be just a little bit longer. And that little bit longer could have been just sliding this down just a little bit to give him an elbow. That is the only thing on the arms. And one of the only things on this entire figure that I, I cannot stand. Why couldn't they give him an elbow? Um... Anyway, moving on. Head is on a ball joint. Uh, so you get the up, down, a little bit more down than you do up. Side to side. Uh, so good range of motion there. He's got uh, that much for waist articulation. That's more for transformation. Um, you got the, the big scoop on the back that you can kind of angle how you want to. Um, you know, I, I like to have it like up like that because that's just... That's more scrapperish. Um, hips nice and tight, unlike Mixmaster. Up and down, in and out. It's a little bit more loose. Uh, thigh swivel, nice and tight. You know, hollow. A um, little irritated with that. It's not too bad. And then you get back to the back of the legs. Um, I have a problem with this because of the way the transformation works. You know, you go from this detail outer edge here and you flip it over so you have the hollow bit um reason why i have an issue with this um one is the fact that you have these big hollow calves but because hook here has a similar leg transformation but instead of having the legs flip down they rotate down so you have the same back uh, you know, the back of the truck, or the front of the truck in this case, um, being the back of his legs. So I don't know why they couldn't have done that with him. You know, just have this hinge down instead of flip down. Um, so instead you get these nice big hollow pieces. They, it, It's one of those, it's like, I, I can almost, I forgive a lot of hollow bits. Um, but I can't forgive this because this is deliberate. This is deliberately done this way. When they could have done it a different way. Um, 
No, oh, he's got an ankle tilt a little bit and an ankle rocker. Um, so he had the potential of being the best of the set, not just because uh, I'm, I'm biased to the character because I really like it, but he really had potential of being the best of the set because uh, his arm, his shoulders are awesome. The face sculpt is great. The, the paint on the chest, uh, the proportions aside from the arms are spot on, but they don't give him elbows and then they deliberately make hollow spots in his legs when they then when they've shown that they can avoid that in other characters in the same set uh, so let's transform him real quick um, head just slides straight down like that um, fold the arms up like this oh you want to fold the hands in so you fold the hands in Fold up the arms, like so. Then you want to take uh, these feet here. Oh, they, they actually pegged together accidentally. All right, whatever. Uh, so you take this back of the legs here, and this will rotate up like this. And it just kind of tabs into place. And you take these pieces here, fold the feet down. They tab it back into place. Fold these up, just like so. And then the... Uh, arms will tab in to the sides of the feet here and then from there you take the uh, scoop here and just bring it straight down and there you go uh, so here he is in his uh, truck mode which I I, I I think looks really good uh, it's a little too green but you know he's a constructor con so uh, you know whatever uh, it's got uh, this hinge here along with this hinge here um, you know, you don't, you don't want it to go further up, you know, at this hinge than it does, um, because that's, that would be unnatural. So this is actually a pretty natural looking scooper. So, uh, only thing I would have liked to see extra is maybe like a hinge right here so you can move the, sh the shovel itself. But, um, yeah, Sh tires are on the stupid pins, um, that I can't stand, but they're really well sculpted to look like a big um big tires like that um so it looks good i like the way this looks um maybe a, a little bit more detail maybe a few more stickers or paint apps uh and he would have been spot on but uh um this swivels i guess for whatever reason just in case you want to like mix master and going the wrong way yeah because you know we just see a lot of these things like that um and yeah uh but yeah uh it looks good I, I like the way this looks so going back to robot mode uh, pull the arms out just a little bit flip the legs down and then you rotate these feet out see now the feet are on stupid little pins too like uh some of the other guys elbows but because it's the way it's designed and looks you can't see it in it when it's in its robot mode so that's fine i i don't mind that and then these come down, and like I said, I mean, if they would have just double hinged these down, having these as the back of the legs, I think that would have looked a lot better. Or maybe have a swivel in there or something. I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't have been that hard to to do that. And shoulders come out. Flip out the hands. This will come back, and you pull out the head. You know, and, and I'm not even I'm not even griping that he doesn't have wrist swivels because I don't care. You know, it's that those aren't as big of an issue as not having an elbow. It, it, he needs to have elbows. That that's just plain and simple. He's got to have those. Um, give him his gun back. Uh, but the the look of this guy looks the best out of the set until you until you get closer to him. Um, so that's where I stand. Um, he looks the best, but he isn't. Um, so all in all, I'm going to give him a, I'll give him a six out of 10 because of the issues that he has are that bad. I think, um, those el the lack of elbows is, is pretty bad. And the deliberate hollow calves is bad as well. Um, 
but he had the and, and it's also you know I'm giving him such a low score because he had the most potential um, with the way that he looks and he's designed he has the most potential out of the group to be such an awesome figure but they just they just dropped the ball with a, a couple things and that those couple things actually mean a lot to me um, you know elbows mean a lot to me and when you deliberately make the hollow bits you know if there's no other way to design it you know, fine, whatever, like the inside of the forearms, I forgive that, um, you know, but because of the fact that, like I said, there's other figures in the same set that show you that you could just take this and slide it straight down, so this could have just slid straight down, um, and it would have been better, it would have been, it would have looked a lot better, so let's get the team out, and we'll do assessment of the full team, and we'll do the size comparisons at that point. All right, so we got elbowless. I will put Oompa Loompa in the back here. Disproportionate over here. Uh, floppy mess. We'll put back here so that he can lean against the wall. We got the uh, man without a crotch. And the actually, and, and weird, weird head sculpt. There we go. There's, there's the team. Um, and yeah, uh, they, they look good together until you get close. Um, and as long as you got long haul, maybe, maybe if you could take long haul and like put them far back from the rest of the team, like, you know, if I pull the team up. You know, Long Haul kind of looks like he's supposed to be in this team. You know, he looks about the same size as the rest, not super giant. Um, yeah. So let's do uh, some size comparisons. Here they are with the Legends uh, figure. So there you go. Here they are with a Combiner Wars Deluxe. This is where I think most of these guys should have been, this size. Uh, I think if they would have shrunk them down, they would have looked better overall. So there's that. Here they are with Optimus Prime. So you can see there. Looks alright. Here they are with Masterpiece Sideswipe. So I think they, they work pretty well here in this scale. Except for long haul. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so they, I think they look good here. And here they are with the uh, Masterpiece Soundwave. Again, I think this looks alright. It's not It's not terrible. Looks alright. And here they are with TFC Scrapper. <clears throat> so you can see how they look against these guys. Uh, so they're definitely bigger than the Scrapper, although the Scrapper has elbows, so he, he's kind of winning there. Um, see, like, this hollowness here, I forgive, because, you know, it's the way the transformation works. You know, it, yeah, they could have done it better, but uh, they, I mean, they deliberately make you flip his, arm, his, his legs around to do that, so... Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, yeah. On all, the set looks all right when you look at them like this. Um, and then when I come back, they'll they'll be in uh, vehicle mode. I will take vehicle mode to combine mode. So, so there you go.